hello everyone welcome to my channel this is Kami with you and in today's video i wanted to unbox these um, portable painter palettes and i'm so excited about this one because i have been uh, looking for a small compact palette for some time now and uh, i'm very very happy that finally i got uh, i ordered this uh, it's like a combination of the classic and micro so it has micro one and one uh, a bit uh, larger than that one but it's still very very compact comparing to other palettes you could get this separately if you don't want the other one let's say you can go for the one that you want but i wanted to have both of them so i opted to get the combo so let's open this So this mini one comes in this cute uh, pouch and the classic one is this it says pocket size ideal for travel hands-free watercolor palette and I am thinking that it it's coming with the um, with the brush inside I think so let's open this one So you get this uh, plastic and it comes with this rubber what is this for I'm not sure and uh, there is a I guess uh, instruction here how to open it how to set it up and yeah the designer the founder of this is Steve Padden so this is the micro one which I'm gonna open now so it comes with adhesive so yeah so you slide this and then you open this this is supposed to hold your water um, I think you can put it this way if you are working from home and this is the actual palette okay, it's it's actually very sturdy okay it's really really tiny actually so um, how to open your double brush so this is instruction for the brush which is this one so you open it this way and you get this synthetic brush which you can use and these are the pens and I think they are already sticked to the bottom because I suppose it should be not that but it is already sticked and okay, it's quite difficult to remove okay so suppose it should come separately but I don't know why they decided to stick so I'm gonna be off and try to remove this one and then I'll be back so finally I think I figured out how to remove them so I'm using this uh, spatula, it's for my makeup and I'm using it for my art supplies So because it's very very strong. this actually flew over my head so let's see if I damaged it or not yes you can see if you can see in here I don't know if the camera can focus I a bit uh, dented like I made some scratches in here 
So yeah, I wish they didn't put these because I was not planning to use this actually because I have another one easier one to put and to remove so anyways this is the one okay uh, i'm gonna show how i am putting this and they are sticking on the table these guys okay let's oh my god they are really really strong you're supposed to put this water uh, containers on the side and it should stand so i think it's a sliding like so okay and the other one and it's supposed to stand like that as you can see and this one apparently to hold your pens which is amazing uh, because I have fine liners and I was thinking where I could keep them um, securely so this is great idea for that as well the whole idea of this um, palette is genius I think in my opinion I will show you the sizes once we open this one as well so this mini version the micro one comes in this pouch and look at this how tiny is this again we have some instruction in here so they are just explaining to you how you can adjust and even they are showing the weight of it it's like 43 grams so yeah it's a good thing to have uh, some instructions as well so let's open this oh wow this is very very tiny so you can fix this over here and this one over here so that's your mini micro palette it's really really nice and you have here this uh, holder where you can probably i don't know how use it like so maybe like and hold your uh, sketchbook so yeah and uh, you can use this area for water i guess or you can use um, again for the mixing area it's removing but much easier because this is very convenient that you can remove and there there are no borders in here between them because you can put a, a full pan size in here so uh, let's see the size of this one it is like almost 14 centimeter and in the inch it would be five uh, five and uh, 5.5 5.6 inch almost I guess 7.5 I guess to yeah 7.5 centi and almost like 2.9 inch I guess or like 3 inch because this side is it looks like wider and the width is a bit more than one inch and if you uh, include this one it will be a bit more than uh, one inch and in the centis it will be three and a half or around three uh, depending on this one without this one this one by itself is 13 and a half centimeters and in the inch is 5.5 almost less than that 5.2 5.1 the width is less than one inch in the centimeters it's like 
It's uh, less than 8, it's almost uh, 7.5, less than 7.5 centimeters. In the inch, it is less than 3 inches. And like that, it is 2.5 inch. In centimeters, it would be almost 6 centi. And the width is around 3 centimeters. Of course, this cannot I cannot be accurate here because uh, I'm just roughly uh, measuring this and an inch it's almost one inch so this is really really tiny um, I'm gonna try to set up this palette now so I will show you my other palettes to compare them how they look would look like when comparing to each other this is my smallest palette right now but it's metal so comparing these as you can see this is smaller still and width as well smaller this one is full of pants right now also i removed the middle one which holds the pants and i put uh, so i i would be able to put more pants in here so when i was saying you could put a full pan as well in here Let's see if one of these pants would fit. Like so. So yeah, it's pretty good, I think. But anyways, I guess I'm gonna put half pants in here. So this is what I'm using. This tacky type of, uh, they call it also blue tack as well. Um, so it's like a very, um, tacky but you can remove it easily unlike these uh, these are very very strong very difficult and once the paint will go over this will be even more difficult to remove but these ones are so easy to remove and put it and they stay put they don't fall off actually so I'm gonna try to set up this palette now and uh, I was using this uh, for usually because this is much lighter in weight from the other one so this is my van gogh uh, van gogh watercolor in the half pan and let's see if this is gonna work if this will fit here oh yeah even though they are not the same size they are still fitting in here yeah that's uh, really awesome the size comparison, they are quite thinner if I'm comparing to my Van Gogh one. Okay, um, the edges uh, and also the height as well. So yeah, but I'm glad that they are fitting. Now let's try if uh, these uh, standard pants are going to fit in here. Yeah, they are fitting perfectly and also I have a chance to remove them if I want. The fact that it's uh, not fully in gives me a chance to easily to remove it whenever I want it rather than being deep inside because it's really, really difficult to remove once the paint goes over your pan. It's gonna stick and it's quite difficult to remove it unless you wash it and long story anyways let's see if this is gonna close yeah it closed okay even though it might touch the top of your paint but still it closes so that's perfect for me but anyways uh, I plan to put in here uh, some different ones and we'll see uh, how that will go I have some plenty of tubes that I haven't uh, I didn't have a palette for that and this is the one I'm talking about this is the tacket from Faber-Castell but I think there is other one other brands also they manufacture these it's called tacket it looks like this before you start using it so I want to put in here my Daniel Smith uh, watercolors because they are in um, tubes these and I'm not gonna put all of them 
because there, there is this Mayan red. They don't give information about what uh, pigment is this. So I'm a bit worried about using this one. But the rest, they are giving you the information about the pigment in here. No, it's not there. So I'm not going to put this one in this palette. So yeah, I'm going to choose from these. I was using this palette temporarily for this uh, Daniel Smith. This is from Daiso, very cheap one, like $2. So this is where I put them and try using them. This is that one, the um, Mayan orange, this one. So yeah, so um, I'm not going to put these uh, the same way. I'm going to put the tacket first. And um, this is my other palette that I'm using. I painted myself with acrylic paint. And I'm just using it because I don't have any other place to put these paints. So these are the one where I keep some part of my tacket, which I'm going to use. Um, this, this is beautiful color, but I'm digressing. The other one I have, again, I didn't have place to put in these. And I'm not planning uh, to put in this. So this is the colors that I have. Uh, high pigmented, high light fast. Uh, I haven't uh, I want to get one more palette big one which is this one um, because I really love this palette and I cannot find it now anymore in the stores uh, but I will keep looking I think this is uh, made in India if I'm not mistaken so once I'm gonna get that one I can put the rest of my paints which are in the tubes I can put it in here so this is like temporary solution for that Now I'm going to stick the pens inside and then I'm going to fill them. Oh, surprisingly, I just realized that there is a difference in the pen. Actually, the, uh, the micro one, you get bigger pens. So this is the micro one. And in this, this one, you get more smaller pens. So if I'm going to compare it with the Van Gogh, this is the size difference and when I compare it with the normal uh, size of the micro one so the micro one is actually uh, almost like a half pan you can see it so I just realized there is a difference in the sizing so I guess you won't be able to fit in here the micro one this one fits in here because this one are made um, a bit with the angle while the portable painter one it's straight I guess these are of course made for the micro one to stay steady that's the reason I assume so for the swatches I'm gonna use uh, this watercolor paper from Dalaroni this is uh, I believe not cotton paper I don't know if this is because usually if the paper is cotton, they mention this is 100% cotton, but here it doesn't mention. Just say 300 grams, uh, cold pressed, uh, grain fin, that's it. Um, nothing else. But I still like the paper.
last thing I wanted to show, this is my sketchbook that I made myself from the watercolor pad, uh, cotton paper, this one. And usually I take it with me out to sketch. And uh, what's the nice thing about this uh, new uh, palette, which one I have, I used to do this. I used to put this palette in here and clip it with this, my magnet clip. So it would clip in here and hold the palette, for example. Or I could use, uh, let's say, some another clip as well. There are so many clips out there you can put. So like so. And now it's still possible. Uh, if I put this one in here, for example, yeah, and clip it. Uh, yes, I'm gonna lose two wheels, but I still have plenty. I think that's more than enough. And since this is magnet also, uh, I could put this like so. Yeah, and put here like a metal water holder. Usually they use this for oil painting. Would fit in here, uh, it will hold because this is magnet too. So yeah, I think this is uh, quite uh, not bad setup for urban sketching. And I'm really, really happy with my purchase. Uh, I did want to get only the micro one, but when I saw uh, the combined one, the combo was more, um, the price wise more better. Like, because I, I knew like in the future, I will probably would want to get this one as well. So I thought, why not to get both together in the same time? Uh, save some bucks right why not so yeah that was all i hope you enjoyed it um, if you have any questions please uh, comment below i will try to answer them and i'm gonna put the link to these in the description below i got them from amazon.e and the shipping was very fast uh, expected uh, delivery was like 2027th 20, I think July so they delivered today which is 6th July and I'm so so happy about this one so thanks for watching take care bye